Hello and welcome to Saki Tech. In today's video, I will show you over 10 tips and tricks for the S Pen which will cultivate complete mastery over your S Pen for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. It's a great tool and should be used to its maximum capacity. So let's dive right in. All right, so the first thing I want you guys to do is I want you guys to pull down the notifications panel and go into settings. And in the settings, make sure you have the list view enabled. And the list to enable the list view, tap this icon right here click view as and make sure you tap on the list view and that's going to give you this vertical menu that you can scroll through but where we really want to go is we want to go into motion s pen under settings and here's all the options that we have for s pen which i'm going to dissect one by one so you guys can fully master them all right number one air command on or off so basically if you grab your s pen and you bring it close to the screen and if you press the button it's going to bring up the air command menu which has some really sleek options now if you don't want that you can turn it off tap air command tap that button and it's gonna gray out it's gonna say off go right back now let's try this again nothing is happening because I turned air command off now I personally love the air command so I'm gonna turn that on and we are going to move on to the next tip now this is a really advanced option. A lot of people don't know about this. Air view is an amazing little thing that you can have with your S Pen. So make sure you turn this on and let me show you what you can do. So basically what you do is when you hover your S Pen over certain things, it gives you some additional information re regarding the button or the link or the icon that you're hovering over using the S Pen. And here's the things you can do. You can do information, icons, lists link and air menu let me just show you what I mean by list scrolling so let's go back into settings so this is the main screen of the settings screen and by simply hovering your S Pen towards the bottom of the screen you can scroll down without touching the screen or without having to use your finger to go up and down okay you can do the same thing for going up so there we go just by hovering the pen over the phone's screen towards the top it will take you to the top you don't have to use your fingers anymore so let's go back into S Pen go back into Air View and show you some of the other exciting options in here by far my most favorite option is information preview so let's tap this make sure it is turned on basically if you're in your uh, calendar application and you hover over certain days it's gonna give you some additional information in the form of a pop-up as you can see on the demo right here same thing with gallery okay same thing with the video player and same thing with the phone and let me show you what I mean by the phone so you guys can see firsthand now let's launch the phone and here's the keypad now each number on the keypad can be assigned a speed dial could be your brother could be your father could be your girlfriend so uh, I assigned some speed dials to number two three and four so if I hover my S Pen over one of them, it's going to show me who it is. This one is Kenway. That one is Ezio. And number two is Altair. And number eight, since I've assigned nobody to that number, there's nothing there. And just out of curiosity, if you guys want to know how to assign a speed dial to a number on the keypad, it's very easy. Go to Contacts, just pick any contact, and once you pick the contact, tap this settings icon and then tap speed dial and then from here simply add it to the number that you want I did add AES to number five so let's go back here let me just show you hover over number five and it's gonna bring AES so that's one of the features of the air preview you can do same with the icons. so if you go into any app and if you hover over any label it's gonna give you some more information so the key is to make sure your S Pen hovers over things and then you will get some more information. You can do the same thing with links. If somebody sends you a link, you can hover over the link and you're going to get a quick preview of the linked content, as you can see in the demo right here. All right, so let's go back and take a look at the third option here. It says pointer on or off. Now, as you can see, when I point my um, S Pen on the screen, there's a little pointer that actually shows up on the screen and follows the tip of the S Pen. 
I can turn that off it's, if it's annoying. And sometimes I do find this annoying. So if you go back here, you do not see the pointer on the screen anymore. And just to be safe, the air view still works with or without the pointer enabled. As long as you have air view set to on, you'll still see the previews that you're supposed to see when you hover your S Pen over certain icons, labels, and numbers. All right, so the option number four here says direct pen input. You can turn this on or off. If you have it on, here's the things you can do. Let's go back out here and let's go to messages. And here I am about to type in a new message. Let's say I don't want to actually type it, but I want to use my pen to write it. So what you want to do is you want to hover over here and you'll see that T icon. Tap it, oops, and it's going to bring up a box into which you can actually write using the S Pen. So I can say, hello, and that's going to convert into hello. And you can type in entire messages using this method, and I can assure you it is very, very accurate. Now you can use direct pen input in any app that allows you to type in. So if I go to the uh, Internet Explorer, and if I tap right here, I can actually hover my pen right over here, and I can tap that, and it's going to bring the window right there, and I can write, start writing right there. Okay, so that's www, which I didn't do perfectly, but you guys get the idea. When you have this window up, you can also tap this icon right here, and that's going to expand the window so you can use the entire screen to write stuff down if you had to. And then tap it one more time to collapse it. All right, so let's go back out into the S Pen settings. So that was a direct pen input. Now let's take a look at S Pen Alerts. This is an amazing setting, okay? So if you turn this on, what happens is if you leave your S Pen on the table, but you take your phone and you walk away, your phone is going to alert you saying, hey, did you forget your S Pen? Now you can go back and you can grab your S Pen and this way you don't have to pay 30, 40 bucks to buy a replacement every single time you lose it. So if this setting is currently off, as it is in mine, make sure you turn this to on and then forget about it. The next one is turn off pen detection. Turning off pen detection when the phone is attached can extend battery life. I don't really care about this option. You can turn it on if you want to save some battery life. It's not going to save you that much. The next option actually is called S Pen Sound. If you tap this, you get three options. Do you want the S Pen to make a noise when you're indulging in one of these activities? So when you launch the air command, when you tap this icon, you're probably not going to hear this right now, but it creates a tiny little noise um, gives you some feedback that the air command is being launched. The same is the case with air view. When you're hovering over items and you get tiny previews, it makes a small sound. Now, third one is by far the coolest option. When you're writing stuff down, if you have this enabled, it's going to sound as if you're actually writing on a piece of paper as opposed to no sound at all. And to even customize this whole thing further, if sound is not enough, you can actually add vibration feedback to all the options that I mentioned. If you tap this option, you get vibration feedback for air command, air view, handwriting, and other S Pen gestures. So if you enable that, and if you tap that, every time I launch the air command, not only do I get a sound, I get a slight vibration feedback on the phone, not the pen, on the actual phone. And the final settings here have to do with the pen detachment option. So as you know, your pen resides in your phone at the bottom right here, and you have to pull it out every single time you want to use it. Now, what you can do is every time you pull your pen out, you can allow your phone to either launch the action memo, so you can take a quick note, or you can have it launch the air command menu. This is the air command menu. So every time you pull your phone out, this air command menu is going to pop right up or if you just want a quick note you can do that as well or if you want nothing happening you can simply choose none but at the same time you can also have an attachment and detachment sound so every time you pull your S Pen from your phone or you put it back in there's a tiny sound that actually plays you can turn that off 
or you can have these different options okay and then finally do you want to add some vibration to that as well you can simply check this icon and every time you pull your S Pen from your phone or put it back you get a little vibration feedback on your phone here is another thing you can do with your S Pen as long as your air view is enabled you can scroll through these different home screens simply by hovering your S Pen on the screen at the bottom here okay make sure you're aligned with these three dots and if you right, come right next to it it's going to allow you to hover between your home screens without touching the screen now another really cool thing you can do with the S Pen is if you go into settings and if you scroll down to where it says display go to lock screen and make sure action memo on lock screen is enabled so you can disable or enable this and then when you're in the lock screen turn this on and off all you have to do is press this button and double tap on the screen and that's going to bring action memo while you have your lock screen in front of you you can take a quick note save that and move on and that is the end of S Pen tips go ahead and click that like button if you like this video and subscribe to Saki Tech for more quality videos also make sure to drop any tips or tricks that I missed in the comments section below also see the link below for 50 plus tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 so you can actually master the entire phone instead of just the S Pen enjoy